sharing the data sharing the transaction through online not offline not manually everything through online is called as electronic data interchange all these are documents of edi 101% there must one question on edi what is edi documents of edi in zomato the same empire the products may change after one year again they need to update that's why your edi always keep updating keep changing A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir, lecturer in Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing the simple and easiest topic that is called as EDI, Electronic Data Interchange, and this is your unit number three. So this is a small topic. It all talks about electronic data interchange. We'll understand what is electronic data interchange. what is the advantages how it works and everything we will understand in today's session so what is edi edi stands for remember it is electronic data interchange so what is electronic data interchange before i'll go to definition i'll give you clear picture assume that assume that you want to buy something again i'll go with the example of amazon only okay so if you want to buy some product i'll not go with amazon i'll go with zomato so we'll have some changes now we'll go with the example of zomato if you want to order some food item some rice curry or something you have ordered in now now what you are supposed to do you have to open the zomato website yes and you have to choose the product or choose the food item which you are uh, requirement or which are your likings you have to choose that then again one more option will be there in the next option what will come the pricing will come the price break up the price of the product the gst for that and any additional charges are there transportation packing charges are there everything will be added and final payment will be there again one more option will come payment option you can pay through online you can pay cash on delivery and if you want to add some tips to the uh, sender or tips to the the boy who brings the product everything all the description will be there once if you said okay and make the payment the order will go to whom that particular hotel if you are ordering to some veg court or something that order will directly pass to where veg court now from your end customer end it is done now imagine what hotel people will do now assume that you are a owner of veg court now veg court he just open his system there is a order from this fellow what is the order some rice and sambar curry something is there what he will do he will go check whether it is available he will tell to whom his chef the chef what we will do he will prepare that then one more person who will pack that he will do the all the labeling stickering and everything he will call that zomato boy and he will delivers all this happens how electronic data interchange see the getting the product cooking all those thing is not edi the whatever the applications we are using you no know, for booking food whatever application that shop owner is using getting the orders this is called edi hi hope hope you got clear picture about edi edi it is nothing but the application to book the product to buy the product even though if you want to order purchase order the requirement stock summary everything you will get it through electronic data interchange hope you are clear sharing the invoices sharing the data sharing the transaction through online not offline not manually everything through online is called as electronic data interchange now electronic data interchange is a computer to computer exchange see you order through zomato that person collected from the system so your mobile is talking to their system system to system is called as electronic data interchange computer to computer now hope you understood i am not going to that particular hotel and saying that i need this one then it is not edi that is a manual one i am doing electronically through my mobile i am sending message to that shop owner's mobile now documents in a standard electronic format 
So there is a standard format will be there. As soon as you receive the Zomato order, one big invoice will be there. Everything, the GST number, everything is manual, uh, automatically it is generated. More trading partners, it enables companies to exchange information electronically in structured format, eliminating the need for manual data, entry and reducing the cost and time associated with the paper-based transaction. You are saving time, you are saving paper, all the natural resources you are saving. What is the EDI documents? So whatever I explained, you no, know, now Zomato thing, please keep it, keep it in mind. Now you can understand these things. What are the documents are there? Through Zomato, you get your invoice, it will come to your mail ID, it will come to your WhatsApp, purchase orders, financial information letters, transaction bill. Now also you just go and look your Zomato orders. You can see two years back orders also. What you ordered two years back. Now you just open your Zomato. They will show that your previous order is this one. If you want to repeat the order, this kind of information you'll be getting. Shipping request and notification, acknowledgement and feedback, transcript, claims, business correspondence letter. All these are documents of EDI. 101% there must one question on EDI. What is EDI? Documents of EDI. Who are the EDI users? In this example, Zomato example, I am the user of EDI. In this example, the King's Court Hotel or some which hotel, that hotel owner is also user of EDI. I hope you are clear. That chef, he also have some tab or something means he is also user of this EDI. Commonly, who are the users? All the central and state government, industry, banks, retailing, manufacturers, insurance, like insurance also. If you want to book your insurance for your vehicle, everything is online. Go to some application. In the application, you will find a quotation for that. Mention your vehicle number, your RC book detail. Automatically, you get a quotation for insurance. You can pass that. You can make the payment. You will get it back your insurance copy. That is called EDI. Healthcare, automotive, 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 electronics, grocery, transportation. These are the users of EDI. So what are the advantages? These things you can write on your own. So in Zomato example, what is the advantage? There is no paper only. We have not used any paper. Improved quality of data. Everything is there in your mobile only. So after 10 years also, you can see what you have ordered. Speed increases. Your hotel is 10 kilometers away from your place. You are going to that hotel that often hour gone. Again, ordering another half an hour. Getting back to your home half an hour. You are spending one and a half hour. Instead of that, do through Zomato. Within 20 to 25 minutes, they will deliver the product. Security, the security of some website like your Zomato, this thing and all will have secured one. Informative, accuracy, less cost also. So what are the disadvantages? Everything, every aspect, every con context, you have disadvantages. The disadvantages are initial setup of EDI is very time consuming. See, nowadays for us using Zomato is very easy. But initial stages, in Zomato you can find Mysore 1000 hotel list their food item. Who has added that? Photo they need to click. They have to paste the stickering, price, your order process, adding the, all the GST, all these offers. Who will do all those things? Backend, they have done all this. Hope you are clear. Backend, for example, they go with Empire Hotel. They will add a picture of Empire Hotel. They will put the description, content rating, what are the dishes available in Empire, non-veg, veg. What is the price tag? Photo of that particular image. What is the best price can be possible? What are the combo offers are there? Just Empire Hotel only, you need one week to upload all the data in Zomato. Like the thousand hotels are there. All thousand hotel data are there in Zomato. Means initial setup is time consuming and expensive. EDI standard keep on changing after some amount of time. See. In Zomato, the same empire, the products may change after one year. Again, they need to update. That's why your EDI always keep updating, keep changing. Then, 
very systematic and proper backup is required as the entire data yield. This is very important. I'll give you a simple example. If you go with dal chawal in empire only, now it costs you around 120, 150. After two years, if they don't update at 150 rupees, after two years also it will show 150 only, but in the shop it is 250. But in the Zomato is how much? 150. If it is not changed to 250, the customer will pay only 150. There is a 100 rupees loss to the shop owner. They have to keep updating. The setup and maintenance of area is very expensive. Usually the maintenance of those websites are very expensive. What is an electronic payment system? It is a simple one. Just open your mobile. How many applications are there? You have Google Pay, you have Phone Pay, you have Paytm, you have Airtel Money. Yes, these are your electronic payment system. You have debit card, you have credit card. That is your answer. No need to study all this. You can write on your own. An electronic payment system is a technological driven platform that enables the transfer of fund electronically. You can make bank transfer. Okay, you can do RTGS if it is a uh, bigger amount. So these are called uh, like even the cryptocurrency also you can use. Cryptocurrency in India it is not uh, legally advisable, but in other countries they are using cryptocurrency. So these are the usually will go with convenience, speed. What are the advantages of your electronic payment? It is always convenience. It is as I told you, Usually whenever you go to shop, they will ask for change. You have 500 rupees note. What you will do? You will go and have some muscle puri or something, some chart. What is the price of that chart? Maximum 40, 50, 70 rupees. If you give 500, what they will say? I don't have change. Instead of that, take your mobile, scan, pay 70 rupees. Done. No need to do any transaction with that fellow. Within fraction of second, you make payment and come back. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, speed. And the payment also faster, security, cost effectiveness, enhanced record keeping life. Now also you go to your Google Pay or Phone Pay. Last 10 years, whatever payments you have made. For the same person, how many payments you have done? What is your recent payment? How much you paid? Whether transaction happened successfully or not? All the informations you get. Global accessibility. Everybody will agree that eco-friendly and contactless option. Like you book some hotel from Mysore, you are booking hotel in Goa. You want to book a hotel, what you are supposed to do? You should go to Goa. Okay, earlier stage I am telling, you should go to Goa alone. You are going, you are planning for family trip, there are some 10 members are there. You want to book a room in Goa. So earlier, alone you should go to Goa by paying bus charge and all. You see the room, book room, again you will come back. Wastage of time, wastage of money, wastage of energy. Now it is very simple. Go to online. Your, what is that? Make my trip. Go to make my trip. Just search for Goa 3 star hotel. Goa 4 star hotel. You will get all the images. You will get conditions also. 50% refund is there. 100% refund is there. Wi-Fi is available. Rooms are clean. Breakfast is complimentary. All the informations are mentioned in that the descript description only so that easy to book and come back contactless option there is you are not contacting anybody you are going to make my trip booking your hotel it is done just take your family go on particular day whenever you have booked hope you are clear yes types of electronic payment these are the types usually you know very well no need to explain this your credit debit card mobile payment application application means your Google Pay, Phone Pay, everything comes under this. Digital wallets, digital wallet is it is nothing but your Airtel money, the, your Prime money, all comes under digital wallet. Bank transfer, automated clearing, uh, ACH, online payment gateways, cryptocurrency in India we are not using, peer-to-peer -peer payment apps, con uh, contactless payment card, electronic fund transfers, and electronic checks. These are the online payments. Digital economy. Digital economy is very simple. No need to go manually or no need to go offline. Everything you can do it online. You can buy. For example, we have a Amazon Kindle. What is Kindle? Yes, it is a books. You can read books online. Make the online payment. They will send you the notes. They will send you the storybooks or any novels. 
read online this is called digital economy so what is e chug electronic chug you know very well everything is online you no need to go and presently of uh, hard copy of chug also everything is truncated truncated means the hard copy will be converted to soft copy by scanning that is called truncated so usually the key features are it is pdf format it has same legal status like whatever the uh, hard copy chug is there the same value is there for of uh, soft copy also not negotiable or not transferable you cannot transfer from one person to another person by crossing or by writing your name backside signing your that cannot happen in online so it must be addressed to a payee and deposited to the payee's bank for example some xyz has given you check means it has to be in the name of xyz account only it has to be cleared yes this is all about your edi electronic data interchange hope you are more clear about this particular topic once you listen to this video class then you go with your notes 101% you will get good marks in this particular topic so that you will understand better if you follow this method thank you